for the sign of Gemini. Hello and welcome to my channel. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up for the first week of November. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Gemini, the recent past energy between you and your person well, we got this Ace of Wands, and it's paired with a tower. Now, the Ace of Wands, it actually indicates new beginnings, very positive ones. The Wands are in the realm of accomplishments and could be related to work, career, family, romance. And just know that if you're, if you're having a difficult time, things are likely to get better very soon. This card, it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future with a really good cause. So, you're likely to be feeling quite energetic and positive, or you will be feeling that way soon. Because if you take a look at this Ace of Wands, it's the card above the word pass. It actually it looks like it's actually sitting above the clouds, but no. This one has burst above the clouds really fast, bold, and really sharp. So it tells you that now is actually a good time to start something new. Now it's with the tower. The tower card can be about trying to hold on to something too tightly, which would be a disaster. You have to roll with the changes. It's likely that some people, situations that you had counted on or as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, this doesn't have to be drastic because we all know that change, it is the nature of life. So if we try to prevent it, if we try to prevent it, it could be like trying to roll upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some come crashing down. Keep in mind, this is only a problem if you let it be, because you can replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart. Just know that dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in reality. So, Gemini, what I'm getting for you and your person, the recent past energy, Ace of Wands, clarified by the tower. So, it looks like you had a new beginning with your person, or it felt like it underwent a new beginning. And, yeah, it could, it could have been, it could have become more committed or maybe it, it took to a new level, to the next level of a relationship. Maybe a new level of understanding each other, some type of new beginning you and your person had. And it's positive. But for some reason, it, it, it's showing that it didn't last that long. Yeah, it's showing that it probably came crashing down. And the good thing about the tower is that you're enlightened by whatever falls apart. Your eyes are wide open. You get you see the full picture by this tower moment. You're enlightened by this disaster. So yeah, I don't know if your person if you approach this person for a new beginning, or maybe it was a new love interest, but it just didn't work out. Yeah, it came crashing down. It fell apart. And for a lot of you, it was over before it started. That's what it seemed like. It just didn't, it didn't last that long. It just fell apart right away. But there was some great new beginning for a little while. Now, that's the reason, Pass. Let's move on over and let's see what's coming up for you and your person. We got the Knight of Wands and it's with the Two of Swords. Well, the Knight of Wands, 
it's showing it's a great time for travel if you can do so. You could, with the Nine of Wands, you, well, you should or you could be feeling full of energy, charged up, ready to get things done. With the Nine of Wands, your self-confidence is likely to be increasing, and this should help you reach towards any goals. Yeah, this night is about messages. It's a message bearer. And the messages, they're likely to be positive. You know, things are more successful than you would have expected or predicted as this Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands has a lot of reasons to feel pride, so they, they savor it. Now, it's with the Two of Swords, which tells us that your partnerships, they're likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, business. However, you might need to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in these relationships and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. If you are not, it could be time to bring things back into balance, but this does require open communication on both parts. Because nothing changes without effort. So that's what we got coming up for the present. Knight of Wands clarified by this Two of Swords. So yeah. Gemini, this person that you had a new beginning with, it looks like they might be reaching out to you coming up if they are not already. Because just know that the time is fluid. This could be going on around now, even though I say the first week of November, but it could go into December. Time is fluid when you get these readings, so don't be stuck on the dates. So yeah, if you haven't heard from this person, that you had the tower moment with, and you had this great new beginning with. Well, yeah, Knight of Wands is about messages. So expect this person to be messaging you, texting you. Uh, this person wants to be with you. But, but, yeah, but, but we have this Two of Swords, Two of Swords here. So, what that tells me is that you know what you're dealing with. And part of the reason that you had this tower moment with this person is that their energy, or they're the type of person that they're in and out. Yeah. Knight of Wands, in and out. They're, they're um... This Knight of Wands is actually known as a player. It can be. Very charming. They don't really stick around. They come. As soon as they come, they're gone. Very confident type. Could be Aries, Leos, Sagittarius. Fearless and brave. Got a lot of fire energy. So like I said, because this is clarified with a Two of Swords, you yeah, this lady with the two swords in her hand, the card below the word present. Well, it looks like they're reaching out to you. This person wants to be with you. Or they, they want to get next to you. But you know, as soon as they get there, they're gone. That's why you're choosing to avoid and block this person. As the two of swords does. So... Yeah, this person comes back around. If they're not already in the picture, they'll still be trying to communicate with you so that they could be next to you. Yeah. Now, let's move on over and let's see what the challenge is. We got the Eight of Wands, and it's with a death card. Now, this Eight of Wands... It's actually about a lot of things being up in the air. You could feel frustrated, tired of waiting, but this card is an indicator to be patient a while longer 
You've probably done all that you can do. Now decisions, they have to be made by other people. So nothing seems to be moving ahead, but don't try to force things because it could backfire. It could actually backfire on you. Sometimes just know our actions. They're all in the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. You put your best out there now. It's about playing the waiting game. The Eight of Wands is with the Death Card. Keep in mind, this Death Card does not even usually indicate physical death. It is considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're creatures with free will and such things, they are not written in stone. The death card simply indicates transformation, change, definitely a time of deep transformation, likely to be both internally and externally in your life. Could be some situations, things, and maybe some people that you have counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. This transition, it can be very difficult for some people, but the change, it's nearly always needed. So Gemini, what I'm getting for the challenge, the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Death Card. So, your person is waiting to hear from you. They're waiting on communication. Yeah. So you got your person playing the waiting game. They reached out to you as a knight of wands. <laughs> and they're just waiting to hear from you. They're actually, they could be getting tired of waiting. Because I don't know how long have they been waiting. They feel like communication is coming in, but where is it? Yeah, you haven't returned any of their texts. You haven't called them back. You haven't messaged them on Facebook. So they reached out to you. I guess they didn't, they don't, you didn't tell them you blocked them. You didn't tell them that you're avoiding them. You just did it. So they feel like things are just up in the air. Yeah, so person, your person was hoping to hear from you. They want, they want to be next to you, this Knight of Wands. So they're frustrated, tired of waiting. And it looks like because the death card is here, they're probably getting the message instinctively. Yeah, they're, they're, they're coming to a conclusion that you've lost interest. Yep. They're coming to a conclusion that this could be finality. They're, they're figuring, out, figure, figuring it out that this is probably the end. You're no longer available to them as you once were. So, let's move on over and let's see what the outcome is. Well, we got the Five of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Wands, it often refers to competition. Now, usually, well, sometimes it can be work or career, but sometimes it refers to romantic rivals. So, don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer and you can be successful, but... With the Five of Wands here. There's four men there in that picture. And one, there's five men and one, he's just standing off to the side, grinning. Five of Wands, you have to, I wish you could, well, I guess you can see the details a little bit. The Five of Wands, it's the card above the word outcome. You see, there's five men in the picture with wands. Only four men are battling each other, about to beat each other up with their sticks or their wands. 
And then you got this one man off to the side. He's just standing there, holding onto his wand, using it as a cane, I guess. But he doesn't really need a cane. And he's just enjoying it. He's enjoying that he brings competition to his world. That there's people fighting for him. Yeah. This person enjoys that type of rivalry. Romantic rivals. Yeah. This type of energy, it feeds this person's ego. So, when this card appears, the need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever. So hold your head up high, have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. Five of Wands, you could also be thinking of making a career change, but you have to know that you can be successful, if that's the case. So, Five of Wands is with the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the deck. This can mean that your financial worries, they're over for a while, and that things will be going better than you thought even possible. So enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth and happiness with others. So the outcome, Gemini, Five of Wands clarified by this Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, like I said, I'm getting your person. They've come to a conclusion that you're no longer interested. You block and avoid them. They had no idea, but they they realized it with this death card. This person wanted to um, communicate with you. They probably reached out to you several times, or if they haven't, they will be. But but um, it's a no communication with this death card. Um. Yeah, you two had a tower moment with the recent past energy. The relationship was good for a while or maybe a little bit, but then something happened. You were you were enlightened by this disaster. Your person as the Knight of Wands probably was a player. They had a lot of in and out energy. So they come rushing back in, trying to be with you. You block and avoid them. They're waiting for days, maybe, who knows, maybe weeks. But they finally get the message that the connection is no longer. Well, the outcome, yeah, the outcome is showing that you, you're either, now you're, you're planning to enjoy the finer things in life. You're not looking for any games being played with you and with, with the relationship that you're in. You're just looking for a good relationship. Um, not someone who plays mind games. Not someone who, who brings romantic competition or other people into the connection. Not someone who you have to fight or feel like you have to struggle for dominance in the connection. Or, yeah, you don't want to, you just don't want the drama of of an in and out type of person. You don't want to feel like you have to be in a competitive situation with your person. Yeah, you don't feel like you have, you don't, you don't want the type of relationship where you have to feed your person's ego by by the, the type of energy that they bring to the, to the mix, like the Five of Wands. Romantic rivals, they're in and out type of energy. So, yeah, you're this Nine of Pentacles here. 
it looks like, I don't know how your finance is going, but if it wasn't going well, it's showing that it's going to turn around for the better. Nine of Pentacles is a good sign for money and income. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles is like a lot of money. Nine, it's, nine of Pentacles is only short of one month. Short of one pinnacle. So your money is going to look really good. And like I said, you're more focused on keeping this person at a distance or blocking them and avoiding them. And trying to bring good, good energy into your life. Or just the type of energy that you feel you can handle. I mean, I guess this type of energy that your person brought to the connection. I guess it's okay for someone who probably brings that type of energy too. You got if you got two people that are in and out and they both know that they deal with the he he deals with other people and she deals with other people. So they're both in and out. So it's a good connection. But for a lot of you Geminis, you're not looking for, for that. Your ideal of a good relationship is not you dating a bunch of other people and having your person dating a bunch of other people and just being in and out. So this reading is for those who are not looking for that. Some of you are okay with it. I do get that. I understand. So, yeah, Gemini, you're off to looking for what you consider to be, that's what I need to say, what you consider to be a good relationship. And you, you're enjoying probably your money because, like I said, the Nine of Pentacles is about your money being really good. So, Gemini, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. And again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There is also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Gemini, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass and we will all get through this. So stay strong and take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Gemini reading. Just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. So also keep in mind that if you're not dealing with a love interest or a romantic, uh, or if you're, you're not dealing with anyone romantically, uh, just know that these readings could be you and a family member or a friend, or it could be a situation. So keep that in mind because these are general readings. They will not resonate with everyone. I can never say it enough, Geminis. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care. Reading. And take care. Reading. And take care. Reading.